What's up smart homers? My name's Aaron and in this video I want to show you how to install the Home Assistant Community Store. The Home Assistant Community Store is a library of third-party integrations for Home Assistant. It's often called HACS, H-A-C-S, and it's not actually part of Home Assistant, but it's a way to get third-party integrations into Home Assistant. It has a lot of integrations for getting smart home devices into Home Assistant and adding dashboard components to Home Assistant, but it's not officially a part of Home Assistant, which means sometimes these things break, and also there could be some security risk. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install it on a device running Home Assistant OS, specifically the Home Assistant Green. Throughout the rest of this year, I'm planning a bunch of different Home Assistant and dashboard videos. So this video should serve as a quick reference that I can refer you guys to in those videos. So let's open up our Home Assistant instance in a web browser, and then we're gonna open a new tab and we're gonna go to hacs.xyz. This shows the main web page for hacks and we're gonna click the download button. Read the prerequisites to see if there's anything that you're missing, but if you're using the Home Assistant green, then you're gonna be good to go. Click the download button on the side here and then read the instructions. We're using OS slash supervised, but if you're using container or core, you can follow those instructions. First thing it tells us to do is to go to Home Assistant. So we're gonna go back there and we're gonna go to the add-on store by clicking settings and then clicking add-ons. On the bottom right, click the add-on store and then we'll need to find an SSH add-on. If you scroll to the very bottom, you're gonna see that it says, missing add-ons, enable advanced mode in your user profile page. So click that, and that's gonna take you to your user profile. Scroll down and you're gonna see the option for advanced mode, so you just toggle that on. Now if we head back to settings and then add-ons and click the add-on store again, now we're gonna see a bunch more add-ons. The one we want is called terminal and SSH, so we're gonna click that, and then we're gonna click the install button. Now we just wait for that to install and then we can move on. Once it's installed, you can click start. And I also recommend that you click the show in sidebar. Now we can see that this little terminal icon has shown up in the sidebar and we can click that terminal button to take us to the terminal. Now let's pop back over to the hacks tab that we had opened previously. We're just gonna select this install script, right click it and click copy. We'll head back to the home assistant tab in the terminal window and we'll just right click and paste. Then we'll press enter. Now it's gonna run through its installation script where it's gonna go ahead and install Hacks. Okay, so now Hacks has been installed and it says that we should restart Home Assistant. So let's go ahead and do that. You can do that by clicking the settings button and then in the top right corner, you click the three dot menu and click restart Home Assistant. Okay, so now we're back in the settings menu and we actually need to add the Home Assistant Community Store as an integration in Home Assistant. So let's go ahead and click devices and services from the settings menu and in the bottom right corner, we're gonna click add integration. Type in HACS in the search box and then click Hacks. Before you can set it up, you're gonna have to go through these checkboxes to make sure that you understand a few things. The last checkbox enables some beta features, so let's not click that or things are gonna look different than what I'm gonna show here. Check the rest and then click Submit. Now it says to open GitHub and then you're gonna paste in the key that it gives you. So go ahead and copy the code and then click the link that asks you to click. Now you're gonna to need to have a GitHub account in order to do this. So if you don't already have one, you need to create one. I'm gonna go ahead and paste that code in and then I'm gonna click continue. And then I'm gonna click authorize hacks. There you go. It says I'm all set. So now I can go back to Home Assistant. And in Home Assistant, it says there's been success. So I can click finish. Now something has popped up on the sidebar, but you can't really see it. I don't know why, but sometimes the icon is blank, but you can see that if I hover over it, it does say hacks. That means that Hacks has been installed. But if you hold down the control key on a PC and then you click refresh in your browser, it'll force refresh your browser and that icon's gonna show up. If I click the icon, I'll be taken to the Home Assistant Community Store. The main UI of Hacks is broken up into integrations and front end. And whoever built this loves to remind you that there are no add-ons in the Home Assistant Community Store. If you don't understand the difference between integrations and add-ons, watch my Home Assistant Basics video. It's still pretty much up to date. Anyway, integrations typically add devices or services to Home Assistant and front end components add components to your dashboard. One of the things that I'm gonna be showing in an upcoming video is the custom button card. If we click front end, we can see that this card is one of the most popular since these items are sorted by stars on GitHub. If I click it, I can see information about it and how it works. And if I like it, that's the one I want to install. I can click the download button in the bottom right corner. 
There's also a way to add custom repositories that aren't officially in the Hacks library through Hacks, which is pretty cool. And I may show that in a future video if I need to. Anyway, that's pretty much it for installing and using Hacks. I don't want to get into too much detail here, but I do plan to show you in future videos how to use some of these custom components. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it's a helpful reference if you're just getting started with Home Assistant and you want to mess with Hacks. As always, thanks for watching. See ya.